History in the making. Six astronaut-like crew members saying their final goodbyes on October 15, 2014, as they enter an isolated dome habitat for eight months for what will be the longest space travel simulation conducted on U.S. soil. It's the latest mission of the Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation, or High Seas, led by the University of Hawaii at Manoa and funded by the NASA Human Research Program. The goal? To prepare humans for travel to Mars and back that could take an estimated three years. I think it's important to advance science and technology and to continue exploring and to one day not have to rely only on Earth and to have more uh, places for humans to live and thrive. I would love to be one of the, the first people to go to Mars, so that's, that's sort of my personal reason for doing this, is that maybe this is as close as I ever get, but maybe it's just an, another step on, on my path to Mars. This is the third of four planned high sea simulations in the 1,500 square foot habitat 8,000 feet above sea level on an isolated section of Mauna Loa on the island of Hawaii. If the crew members want to step outside during the mission, they have to wear simulation spacesuits. So the purpose of this mission, as well as the one before it and the one after it, is to look at crew cohesion and see how that predicts performance. So we're going to be looking really closely at the crew psychology over these eight months. I think if we come out of this all being like a really strong team with really strong friendships and bonds, then I think, you know, for us that have been, that'll have been a success. The crew spent its last day of freedom taking in the sights on a helicopter tour, shopping, and enjoying a final meal at a popular Hilo Hawaii restaurant. A homecoming for two crew members who graduated from UH Hilo and knew exactly what to order. Kalua pork and cabbage, and it was amazing. I've been missing it for about four years now, so it was perfect. I had a ribeye and some eggs, and I'm about to tackle these gigantic pancakes. So. <laughs> No, no stone will be left unturned. It was also an opportunity for crew members to consider what they will miss the most as they prepare for eight months of isolation. I think I'm probably going to miss going to the beach the most. We're not going to be able to go to the ocean, so, and I, I love swimming, I love the beach. My family and friends, and uh, especially my dog Charlie and my hedgehog Slim, <laughs> miss the prickly little guy. <laughs> I guess my biggest fear is just uh, losing contact with my family and my niece. Uh, she's only two and a half, and so I don't want her to forget me. 